So first of all, the fact that we women would be even excited, aroused by visual content, okay, it's already a symptom that we have become more masculine because it is in the men, in the man's construction, in the man's nature, yes, in the technology of avatar of male gender, that is that he's visual. He gets aroused by images. So if a woman gets aroused by images, it's a symptom that she's already more masculine, okay? Because a feminine woman does not care so much what the partner looks. She's not so visual. She's more uh, auditory. So she gets aroused from what he says, what his words, how he adores her by texting her, by writing poetry, by speaking to her, yes? She is also more sensitive to the, to the smell of the man, to the vicinity, to the fact that he's close. She feels safe when the man is close. Yeah, I'm talking about feminine woman. She feels more safe where she's close, where, where, he, where her part, partner is present next to her. And when she's safe, she's open to breed. Yes, biologically, I'm talking about the technology of human body. Because it's, it's normal that if a woman is under stress, material stress, then she is not sexually interested because she, why breeding, yes? You know, we need safety for the, for the species, for children. So the fact that we would be even enticed and addicted to porn is already a symptom of the fact that women's testosterone is higher, abnormal level of testosterone, mm -hmm. yeah? <clears throat> and... Um, Another thing that, you know, so let's, let's just, that's just number one. Number two is what it does to women, mm. okay? When, you know, um, again, I'm speaking from my own experience. Yes, I think we are grown-ups here and we don't, we are not going to beat around the bush. We know, we women know what is porn. We have been watching porn. I know what, what it does to me because I am knowing myself. Yes, I know myself. So when I was watching porn, when I had a period of, of, of in my life, when I was thinking, oh, I'm so independent, I can do whatever I want. Yes, this hedonistic kind of teenage, teenager mindset. I could observe that, um, that the, the addiction is down spiral. So it begins, it, it pulls me down. I could ab uh, observe that it just drains the energy down the toilet. Yes. So, for example, it would begin in a very innocent way, like, oh, you know, let's just let's watch what this couple, let's watch this, this cute couple making out somewhere in their bedroom. Something natural, very innocent. Right. And then, oh, let's let's watch these people having sex. Mm, right. It's almost like an energy of, you know, let's sneak peek some through the keyhole. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know how how these people are having sex. Yeah, or let's watch through the window. And then later on, you begin, you, you can notice that you observe, you, you, you begin to watch, and this happens to women and men alike, right? That we get drained, we get siphoned into that cesspool of addiction, that we begin to watch something that is more kinky, more weird, yes? And before you know, you're watching shit that you would never ever choose at the beginning, okay? So the stuff that is coming up later on is breaking taboo. It could be family taboo. Yeah, like, you know, sex with and between parents and children. Yes, or, or like, for example, his mom having sex with a son or, or, or father having sex with his daughter, like weird shit, right? Or, for example, it could be breaking taboo between races. Yeah, but, you know, here we, we know that porn is showing a ton of black guys having sex with white women, right? And it's hardly ever the other way, yes? Because it's a targeted, it's a systematic attack at our men, yes? White male is a male that is very conscious on earth. A lot of consciousness is in that male. And he's, he, white man, American man especially, has, get, has guns. So there is, let's, let's, you know, put him down by showing him a, a black guy having sex with a white woman, okay? And this doesn't mean anything. I'm not in, in any ways saying that black men cannot be with a white woman. I'm just saying that it's a weaponized 
you know, way to make somebody feel like he's not good enough, mm. right? Anatomically, because black guys are bigger, mm. <laughs> you know? So we are being trained that bigger is better when it's completely BS, okay? Any woman that's, that is sensitive, sensual, because a woman, feminine energy is sensuality. Men are looking for women who are sensual, not for sex vamps that are hard to satisfy. Mm. Porn, what porn does to women is that it creates that sex vamp, mm. sexual vampire that is hard to basically bring to satisfaction. Yes, if a woman from porn very, very easily will land up in the addiction to vibrators and all sorts of stuff. Yeah. So what happens to women when they are hooked, when they are addicted? Well, um, basically women become bipolar. Mm. Okay, simple thing. You know, she's throwing a fit. She or, or she will be euphoric, euphoric, very happy, and then uh, uh, very down. Yes, depressed, or you know, euphoric, and then ang angry or afraid. Yes, so very emotionally unstable. So, ladies, if you are on antidepressants, I encourage you examine this. What if your addiction to porn is causing that? Mm. Okay, and what if you can stabilize your neurology, your, your brain performance, the cocktail of your hormones, not by meds, but by self-control, self-discipline, yeah? And again, you know, uh, a message to men, ask the women, do you watch porn? A woman, if you're dating a woman, yes? Ask, do you watch porn? Because if she is addicted to porn, don't expect that she's gonna be a stable, emotionally balanced, rational partner capable to understand you and respect you. Mm. Okay, get real. So you're dating a drug addict, <laughs> all right? And then the same way, if you, if you are, you know, if you are courting a woman, uh, take a look. Does she have vibrators in her drawer, in her bathroom, by her bedroom, yes? Because if she is, most likely she's bipolar. And again, you won't have a stable, reliable partner. Yes, a man needs a, a man needs a partner that that will respect him, understand him, and respect him. Not a drama queen. Yeah, and men are a little bit like. Um, sorry to say, I'll use the metaphor. Men are a little bit like dogs. Yeah, dogs. They guard us. They provide security, protection to us, our families our communities in third dimension, in material realm. A woman, if woman is in her feminine energy, yes, so if she uh, goes spiral upward, yes, if a, if a man is upward spiral, he will be in the high testosterone and protective energy. Yeah, he'll be a protector and a provider. He's capable to provide and protect. If a woman goes up spiral, yes, so self-controls and channels that energy up, what happens is that this woman, she becomes the protector and the provider of nourishment, of family, of community on the energy level. So she, she becomes very multidimensional. She is like a cat. Yes. You know, cat's eyes, they go from circle to, to slanted because it, it, cats can see material dimension and also the spiritual dimension. Yeah. So we protect men in the etheric, in the subtle realms, and men protect us in the physical realms. Now, watch what happens. If both are addicted to porn, man loses testosterone and he cannot protect his family. He cannot provide. He, his muscles are, are not strong enough. His brain performance is not, not functioning properly. And he doesn't have courage. And woman, if she's addicted to porn, she cannot nurture the family. She cannot take the house the man provided and make it a home. Mm -hmm. Okay. She cannot protect the family in the etheric spiritual dimensions. So as a result, a house like this is empty mm -hmm. or haunted. Mm -hmm. Right. So we are talking about the spiritual warfare here and about the way AI watches your desire because lit literally agent smith is wearing a red dress agent smith is driving ferrari <laughs> all right and ai artificial intelligence through social media through 
you know, uh, all sorts of uh, monitoring apps, yes, all sorts of monitoring spirits, people who appear, who are sent to you in the holographic reality, yes, they, they, it's basically sending you people uh, who, are temp who are like tempting, who, so, so you would fall down spiral. If you are interested in, in sovereignty, in freedom, in every sense, financially, spiritually, yes, you need to overcome your desire. So quit wanting and, and basically start being. Mm. Yeah? And when a woman channels her, her desire, she overcomes her, de her desire for shopping. Mm. Okay? Because that's also a side effect of porn. Mm. Yeah? If and she's addicted, more and more and more. yeah. Mm. If she's if she's addicted to porn, she'll be greedy. <coughs> she'll be she'll be have she'll be feeling empty that she's not good enough, and she'll have the illusion that, you know, buying shit from China, some rugs from China, mm. uh, sh uh, with some funny logos is gonna fill her up. Yes. So um, you know, woman woman who is hooked on porn will be feeling insecure, jealous, uh, emotional, cry for no reason. Mm. You know, throwing a, throwing a fit, guilt, blame, shame, and so on. So, you know, it's not a spiritual thing mm. at all. Mm. Thank you so much for that. Uh, I'm going to add the links under the video, like, um, um, what to do about uh, fixing this problem. And so you can find also details for Levita. So if you need any coaching, maybe. Uh, because it's so difficult for you because you're so addicted. So one to one session maybe will help you to start at least, you know. So thank you very much for that. And then, yeah. All right. Thank Hablamos. you. Mike.